from the gospel according to mark chapter 1 verses 7 to 11 this is what john the baptist proclaimed one mightier than i is coming after me i am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals i have baptized you with water he will baptize you with the holy spirit it happened in those days that jesus came from nazareth of galilee and was baptized in the jordan by john on coming up out of the water he saw the heavens being torn open and the spirit like a dove descending upon him and a voice came from the heavens you are my beloved son with you i am well pleased today we are celebrating the feast of the baptism of the lord it is the great event celebrated by the eastern churches on the feast of epiphany because it is the occasion of the first public revelation of all the three persons in the holy trinity and the official revelation of Jesus as the son of God to the world by God the father therefore it is described by all four gospels this baptism marks the beginning of Jesus public ministry Jesus baptism by John was an especially important event in the life of him first it was a moment of identification with the sinners second it was a moment of conviction about his identity and mission third the holy spirit equipped jesus by descending on him in the form of dove giving him the power of preaching and healing fourth it was a moment of decision for jesus to begin public ministry at the most opportune time after receiving the approval of his heavenly father as his beloved son the baptism of jesus reminds us of our identity it reminds us of who we are and whose we are Jesus baptism reminds us also our mission to experience the presence of God within us to acknowledge our own dignity as God's children it is a day to thank God for the graces we have received in baptism to renew our baptismal promises and to preach Christ's good news by our transparent Christian lives of love mercy service and forgiveness